Hi, and uh, my name is Patrick Wolf, and I'm the branch manager for Homestead Funding up in Watertown, New York. I've been with Homestead Funding uh, since 2008, so I'm 15 years this year, uh, but I've been in the industry for 32 years. Um, so been around for a very long time. If I'm being completely honest, in the very beginning, I don't think I walked into the product optimistically. Um, you know, uh, because I am a bit older, maybe I don't have as much um, enthusiasm or excitement for um, leveraging technology to its fullest extent, but I have been more than pleasantly surprised um, for a few reasons. Originally, I was presently surprised with just how easy it was to use. Um, the notifications come, um, and I was then even more pleasantly surprised when I realized how easy it was to use and navigate with how much information I'm actually getting that in previous lead generation never had access to. So I really feel the minute that I'm connecting with that borrower that I'm much more prepared. It doesn't, it, it's not as awkward. It's not as um, unpredictable, okay? I feel like I know a lot more uh, the minute that I reach out, whether it's by phone or email, and, and it depends on the circumstances, um, but so, yeah, I got sold pretty quick on those two key factors because of what I do for a living. My email's on me all the time. Okay. Um, so it's, it's an instant awareness. Therefore I can instantly react. Um, it takes no time to just click on it, get into monitor base, gather the information, make a decision as to how I'm going to go forward. If I'm going to go forward, because in some instances I'm not, but if I'm going to go forward, and then how to get the result, you know, so the planning the initial contact with other lead generation took a lot more time. It was much more clunky. Whereas here, I think monitor base is kind of telling me, you know, here's all you need to do. Like, this is the information, you know, there are at least four or five things we're providing you with this lead that could begin your conversation. Um, you know, uh, I've been leaning more toward when it's a previous client, uh, real quickly, just checking, okay, well, when did they close on their home? Okay. And then if I'm sending an email or if I'm talking to them on the phone, you know, I make sure that I link it to celebrating their house anniversary, you know, the anniversary of when they bought their home. Hey, oh my goodness. It's been four and a half years since your house anniversary, you know, happy house anniversary, whatever. I mean, it, it it's an awkward wording or phrasing, but it really disarms the person on the other end, whether by email or phone into talking to me because the initial contact is, oh, he's just calling to say hi and, you know, wish us an anniversary or whatever, you know, relative to something that happened. Okay. Um, when I, uh, so that's been made it very easy. You know, I just had one recently, uh, I got the lead on a Tuesday morning, uh, it was probably between 9 and 10 a.m., and I instantly reacted with an email, someone I had previously closed, did the house anniversary thing, they had closed three years previous, and um, he called me right away, or he emailed me back right away, excuse me, and I called him, and we connected, we started to chit-chat a little bit, and he said, you know, I just applied for a mortgage, um, he goes, I was going to call you, he said, but I, I was going to buy an investment property for my parents. And I said, oh, you know, why were you going to do that? And he said, well, my parents are moving to the area. I said, okay, have you thought about putting a loan in your parents' name? Give you a better interest rate, less money down. And by the end of the day, I had pre-approved his parents and they were out house hunting with a real estate agent that I referred them to that had used the parent, that had used their children. Um, so not only did I get a pre-approval, did I have them out house hunting, but I connected them with the real estate agent. The next day I got a lead again from a previous customer and it was somebody that I knew and got, had gotten to know pretty well. So I called him immediately and said, Hey, you know, what are you up to? How you doing? Just checking in. It's been four years since you bought your home. And because we're in a military town, they said that they were leaving the state. Well, I'm only licensed in New York. But I was able to refer that person to another loan officer in Homestead who's got, who did the pre-approval and is going to work with them for their purchase where they're going. So, 
it worked out really well. And I was able to tell the person that helped them that buy the home, that was going to help them sell the home, that if they wanted to refer a real estate agent because they work for a national brand, that they could do that as well. So it also, so, so I was able to get connection both ways. And even though I won't get paid on that loan, you know, doing the referral, I don't care about that, but I was able to reconnect that person who's going to sell their home with their original real estate agent and get them to refer someone where they're moving to. So. I love that. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, well, in situations like that, how do you think that that impacts your relationship with that realtor? Well, I mean, and, and to me, that takes you from a referral source to a business partner. It redefines the relationship because what it says is I'm not just available to get paid when they need me. I'm going, I'm mindful of their previous kindness and sharing my information all the way through. So at any time that I can, you know, reconnect them or, or bring them back into the equation that I'm going to do that. And you go from referral partner to business partner in a minute, you know, we don't get a ton of opportunities because the realtor is generally the first point of contact to do that. But this system, because it is so forward thinking in the predictive analytics, it's kind of like taking the loan officer and putting them first sometimes so they can bring the realtor in. So it's reversing, you know, 97% of my business is realtor referrals, 97%. Okay. Um, so if I can invert that, to take relationships to the next level, I'm going to leverage this system to do it. 